stream. Party 4! Good morning everybody, it's Midnight and Beyond! Welcome to my Let's Play of Mario Party 4 for the Nintendo GameCube! At long last, we've made our way to the GameCube Mario Parties and they are my personal favorites. Let's not waste any more time and get things started! Going to go into slot A, going to cover up the screen because it spoils what character we're going to be using because this is once again another Mario Party with story mode! Something that becomes a regular thing from here on out, sort of, kinda. As you can see, we got a plethora of tickets to choose from. This is our main hub area, deciding on where we want to go. We got party mode, which is the standard fares. We all know, just go on whatever board you want. The store mode, which is what we're going to be covering in this LP, as per usual, as of now, because it's only now become a traditional thing since Mario Party 3, but whatever. Uh, mini game mode, which lets you go ahead and play some mini games. Option room, everyone's favorite room, not really. Uh, present room, we'll get into that a bit later. And the extra room, we'll also get into that a bit later. So like I said, we're going to be going into story mode this time around, and unlike Mario Parties 2 and 3, I'm actually going to be going solo. It's going to be a return to the Mario Party 1 standards of just me by myself. I know that seems kind of, uh, kind of a downgrade maybe, because all my co-coms are always a million times more funny and cool than I am. So I apologize if you're kind of disappointed that it's just me, your old humble midnight, with you this time around. But I don't know, maybe it'll be more fun this time around, because I wanted to make sure... Um, the reason I wanted to go into this one alone is because this is one of my favorite Mario Party games and I feel like I would just have a lot to talk about so it's not like with 2 and 3 where I didn't really have that much to talk about and I didn't think it'd be that much fun. So this one I feel like there's going to be a lot more discussion with me and I feel like I could just have a very fun time with it on my own so hopefully you'll enjoy it. Hopefully it will be different in which it's not as rage filled as my Mario Party 1 LP but a lot more on topic than my Mario Party 2 and 3 LPs were. So then, let's stop wasting time and get started with story mode. Now every Mario Party game has a theme, and in case this one wasn't super clear, the theme of this one is some sort of party. Yeah, the theme of Mario Party is a party! But it's a very specific type of party, which you get to find out more about in story mode. Looks like we already have a save data, would you like to continue? No, we're gonna be starting fresh. If you want to save, uh, if you save, the previous data will be overwritten. If you want to keep your previous data, you must uh, select that file. And like, here's the rules of this board map. No, I think it uh, handle Mario Party board rules. We're fine. So we could go ahead and choose our difficulty as well as a character. All the characters from Mario Party 3 return, and since Daisy and Waluigi's introduction are no longer being done, now that they're very standard characters now, you could actually choose them for story mode. So it's not just uh, reduce the original six. Now you can choose all eight of them. So which character am I going to be choosing for this Mario Party adventure? In Mario Party 1 we went with Donkey Kong, in Mario Party 2 we went with Luigi, and in Mario Party 3 we went with Yoshi. So we only have uh, five other characters to choose from. 
Well, as usual, I like to not use Mario because I could use Mario in pretty much any other adventure, so I don't really feel it's necessary to play as him in this game. So that leaves it down to a four. <laughs> How very fitting. But which character is going to be? I don't know what it is that drew me to this character. Like, it was just sort of a random pick and it sort of just stuck with me whenever I play Mario Party 4 and I always just feel right at home whenever I choose this character. Not really sure how to word it aside from just saying that it's a character that I'm very fond of and I'm very excited to go through an entire game with. And that character is... Daisy! Princess Daisy! At long last she's getting her own LP on my channel. And we're gonna go ahead and set the difficulty. We have easy, normal, and hard, and auto. What? I... I kind of forgot this was a thing. I don't remember what auto difficulty is. Uh, Teresa! Oh, is this Teresa's debut? Good oh morning. my! Oh, I miss Mackie now. But no, Teresa, can you let us know what auto does? Because I actually don't remember. Hi. So, we're gonna go ahead and choose, uh, easy difficulty? What do I want to do? It's just like... I'm a lot more familiar with this Mario Party, so I feel like I could do higher difficulties. But the thing is, I have to win every board because it's a story mode and I have to progress. So, for the sake of making recordings easier, I hope you guys will be okay with me going with easy because you know the outcome of every board regardless, so I'm going to be winning every board because it's necessary, so I don't think it's too terrible for me to go in on easy difficulty. If I end up uh, going with a harder difficulty and just losing a bunch, then it's just going to be annoying for me to edit and it's not really going to change the overall outcome. So. Uh, hopefully you guys are okay with that. And of course with minigames you can go with all minigames or easy minigames. We're gonna go with all minigames at the very least. These settings okay? Yes indeed, let's get things started. Daisy, happy birthday! Yeah, it's Daisy's birthday. That's a specific kind of party that we're having. It's Daisy's birthday party. Today we're going to celebrate Daisy's birthday by throwing a huge party! Everyone here has a present for you! Isn't that great? However, those presents don't come so easily. First, you'll have to play the boards we made. If you win the board, then that character will give you a present. Eh. And that's how it works! Which party would you like to play? Something very cool is that they actually let you choose which board you want to go with. So you actually get to choose the order in which you play all these boards. But of course, because it's me, I always like to do things in order, or whatever order I like to call it. Because like, Toad is traditionally the first board, the standard board, because like you, um, he's the one that you automatically start with when the menu opens up. So he's technically the first one, but do you want to go from like left to right? So Goomba would technically be the first. And like, where do you go from here after you do uh, Toad? If you choose him as first, do you just go, keep on going right until you swap back over to the left? The way I always did it, I always did Toad, then Shy Guy, then Goomba, then Boo, then Koopa. I don't know why I do it like that, but that's always the order in which I've done things. So, for that reason, we'll be going with that order as well in this LP. And we're going to start things off with Toad's Minway Madness, an amusement park designed by Toad. Yay, let's party! Oh, I miss Daisy's old voice actor. Um, actually, did they? Yeah, I feel like they did, because it would be weird if they just gave her, like, a drastically different change in direction. But, like, this is the land before Daisy became very stinking annoying. She's very, a lot more reserved and laid back in these old days. And hey, you see the train from Mario Party 2 running around in the circle down there. But yes, it's so stinking cool to see, like, the graphical update for Mario Party 4. Like, the jump from 3 to 4 is definitely amazing. And our four characters, we got Luigi, Yoshi, and Mario. Welcome to Toad's Wit Midway Madness! I'm Toad and I'll be your guide! I love amusement parks, so I designed my board to look just like one! Please enjoy the fun rides and leave the worries behind! Now let's decide the order of play! Would've been really cool if Donkey Kong was our fourth character, then we'd have all the four playable characters I've had for every Mario Party LP. But whatever, can't have everything, let's go and get a four! Hey, cause Mario Party 4! So Mario's going first, cause he's a number one! Luigi is second. Because he's always number two, and then I'm third because I got the four, and then Yoshi is two because reasons. Okay. Oh, we're gonna get ten coins as usual. You know how it works by now. And our goal, of course, is to obtain the star, which is located over this away. Okay, then. Now, I gotta say, a lot of people think, I heard a lot of people say that, like, the Toad board is their favorite. I feel like anyone, there are a lot of people who just like the main board. I know a lot of people who will only ever play the first board in a Mario Party, like, people who play Mario Party 2 will only play Pirate Island, or Pirate Land, 
and people who play Mario Party 5 will only play Toy Dream or whatever. I feel like that's the same way with this one, like, people always just want to play on the first board, the Toad board, because it's just, like, the basic one's the first one, like, Mario's Rainbow Castle Mario Party 1's, like, always the first one, you just always want to do that one, no other board. But I gotta say, this is one of, this is probably my second least favorite board in this entire game, so sorry if I kind of end up uh, starting things off on a kind of a low note. Uh, my main problem with this board, wow, is that I got a 1. No, my main problem is that teacup thing you saw up there. Anytime someone uses it, the intersection changes, and it changes which direction you're allowed to go in. So, it ends up making some players just stuck in this little square over and over and over. You could spend the entire board just stuck in that little nook, and it's very stinking annoying. So, for that reason, I don't like this board, because it just makes you feel like you can't do anything a lot of the time. Not everyone feels like that, it's just this one person. So, hopefully, you're not the unlucky sap, it's just a matter of who gets to go there first, and if your rolls are good enough. But anyway, we're gonna start things off with a minigame photo finish. Please finish this photo puzzle. You can only drop a piece if it in its proper place, so you'll know when you've found the correct spot. Uh, rotate a piece, of course, move and place a piece. So we just finished a Professor Layton LP. I think we're confident enough to go ahead and do this without any problem. And no, no, Toad's just panicking. No, there's a chicken. So something I kind of like is that Toad is no longer the main host of this uh, of Mario Party. Uh, I kind of like that they start switching it up from here on out. And then they switch back into just making it all about Toad in future games. We're not going to talk about that. We're going to talk about how awesome Mario Party 4 is. Because, like I said, it's one of my favorites. It's my second favorite Mario Party game, actually. So, I'm very excited to finally be playing this. Because it's been such a long time. And I have a lot of fun memories with it. Uh, let's switch this around. And it's also just really good to feel the GameCube controller again. Because, like, I'm just not a fan of Nintendo 64 controls. I'm sorry. But, like, I didn't grow up with it. I feel like people who... I feel like the only people who do like a Nintendo 64 controller are the people who grew up with it, so... Um, it's just like, there's nothing appealing to that controller to me, but whatever. Maybe that's just me and I'm crazy. But who cares about that, because Crazy Daisy won the minigame and Toads with Wine. Wow, this Mario Party game is a lot more edgy than the other ones. They got Toads with Wine. So I already have enough for the star, now it's just a matter of getting out of this little junction that will allow me to get to the star. And it's saving automatically. Hopefully that won't come back to bite me in the butt. Mario start. He gets a two. Uh, now I have to rely on just like observing the board to commentate for a Mario Party game. I wonder like how my Mario Party won. I remember it being fun. It's just that like, how the heck did I do it back in the dizzy day? How did I come up with things to talk about? Uh, these spaces, I guess we can talk about that since that's a new thing. The mushroom space. You pick a box and you either get a mega mushroom or a mini mushroom. Mega mushrooms let you hit two dice blocks and make you super big and you could take 10 coins from anyone you pass. Very singing jerkish. However, you cannot uh, access shops, star spaces, or any other events uh, that you pass along the way. Thank you. I can finally get out of this junction. Uh, the mini mushrooms, it lets you hit a dice block that only rolls 1 to 5. And you can still access little things like the shop and the store. The shop and the store. Wow. The shop and the star space. But it does not... Uh, but it also lets you go through uh, special pipes like these ones. You can only access these if you have a mini, if you're mini. And there are also certain board events that you can only do, like this one right here. You can only do this if you are mini. So uh, there are some advantages to the mini mushrooms. So be sure to strategize with those. Though I usually just like to go ahead and I like the mega mushrooms a lot more. I feel like now the question is where the star space is. All right, it's that way. So we're gonna go downwards. All right, thankfully we didn't land on the red space. And Yoshi's gonna get a six a pickup stick -a. And that's what I mean. He's like, he's stuck in this junction over and over because he just happened to go last after everyone else. I was really fortunate enough to get through here before he did, so uh, that turned out okay for me, but not so good for the computer player. But it's a computer player, so who cares? Larsel, down a mini mushroom. A two versus two mini game now, alright. Okay, so I feel like I need to make mention of this, the great deflate. Uh, I was questioning whether or not I should mention it because I'm afraid it would just sort of make things awkward for like past LPs or whatever. But I'm just trying, my goal for year 7, my number one goal for year 7 is to kick the habit of saying alright. Because I've noticed that I've been saying it way too stinking much and I need to put an end to it now. It's just like the perfect transition word whenever like you finish uh, talking to an NPC or when you get an item or whatever. It's going to be really stinking hard to kick, but I need to stop doing it because like the amount of all rights that I edited out of Layton and Earthbound, it was disturbing to say the least. So I'm going to try and make an honest effort to stop saying it. I'm not going to mention it every time I accidentally say it, but now that I have it in mind, now that I've made the promise to all of you, I will make an attempt to never say all right ever again. All right. All right. <laughs> all right. 
Now, the Great Deflate it is a ground pounding minigame. You gotta deflate the Thwomp, and all you gotta do is uh, try and time your ground pounds in tune with your partner so that you can deflate it quicker. That's what you're gonna wanna do. One of my favorite mini games from this uh, from this game because every time you jump on it, it makes a little uh, noise. And this looks always this always looks so stinking cool. I'd love to have an actual inflatable floaty, as opposed to a non-inflatable floaty, of a thwomp. They just look so stinking cool in the way they're just like. Uh, 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 uh. This is so stinking funny. And I keep on going down. I've always hated the beach, but like this is the one positive. My one positive memory of the beach is playing a Mario Party mini game that takes place at a beach. Wow, that sounds very sad. Mario Daisy One. Hmm, Mario and Daisy, a very iconic duo. Hmm, it sounds sort of familiar. If you know what I'm saying, I don't know. We got 36 coins. Saving the game.